Okay, well, this one I had to kind of go back over a little bit, but uh, I think it came out pretty good, um, nice and clean. Um, uh, maybe a little bit of grinding right on the tips right here just to keep them from being sharp, and I think we're ready to go. Everything's all welded together. We'll uh, install it in the uh, on the unit itself and then go from there. Okay, we got the um, we've got the uh, uh, tool holder. I believe it's called a holder, maybe tool bracket. Uh, it, it's a farm implement. We've got this in place, and now he wants me to uh, build uh, a bracket for a couple of discs. And I think uh, we're going to go ahead and weld the disc to the bar. Now this bar here, as you can see, it wasn't quite strong enough, so and, and it bent. So we're going to kind of come in with a little bit stronger piece of bar and uh, and really get this thing to uh, hold up to digging dirt. Uh, so we got two of these. We're going to develop something uh, in the sense that, uh, and if you see these brackets here. And he went and bought these brackets because they're, you know, they're about 40 bucks a piece. And it would cost uh, way more than that for me to build something like this. So this bracket goes on here. And then uh, a piece of two and a half inch material slides up and down inside of this. So you can get, you can adjust your height. And, um, and this actually is a universal tool. All of these will be set up this and there's a plow and there's a, a um, uh, undercutter that's going to be set up to go into these brackets and then uh, uh, so you can just pull one out put another one in and uh, and you know just keep working so that's basically where we're going with this um, so at this point I've got to come in and figure out some other approach to uh, to this bracket. That won't be too hard. Okay, the next part of this project is building a um, uh, a swivel. Uh, if you look at this, this is the disc, and we'll point at the disc in a second here. And then from the disc, we're going to come up with a straight bar, and then at this junction right here, it's going to be a swivel, so that the disc can adjust to different positions. So today I, we're going to build this swivel. And uh, hey, hang out. Let's have some fun. I'm going to spin over to the disc itself. You'll see it right up here. There it is. So we're going to just start on that project and uh, follow okay, We're going to start by cutting two five inch plugs and two three inch plugs off of this piece of uh, I think it's two and a half material. So we'll get those cut and uh, we'll, then we'll be able to chuck it on the lathe and, and do some messing around. Okay, we're going to take this first uh, piece, the five inch piece, and we're going to cut this slug down. Oh, it really doesn't matter where we cut it down to. I'm thinking something like two inches or something like that. And then we take the other side, uh, which is the receiver side, and we bore a hole two inches. So either way, it's going to be a fight because this material is very, very hard. And uh, I bought it used, and, uh, you know, when you buy it used, you have no idea what you're getting. But uh, it's going to hold up. There's no doubt about that. So we're just taking uh, 60,000 uh, passes. Just keep plugging away at it. <clears throat> Couple of more passes and I think we'll have it.
I'll tell you, I'm working on building a vent for this lathe because it puts out so much smoke in this situation. And here I am in an open barn and it still, you know, spills the barn with smoke. So I've gotten some 4 inch uh, stove pipe and I'm going to uh, make a 4 inch vent that comes right down onto the, uh, onto the top of the work. That should do it. But that is another day. This might be the last one. to do is uh, this smaller sleeve uh, once I bore a hole in that then that sleeve will fit over the top of this one and I need to hold that in place so what I'm gonna do uh, once it's on it is uh, just a little washer and a nut or in a bolt will go in the end here and that'll uh, that'll just hold that hold the uh, this particular plug in place and then basically what I'll do is drill a hole in that and then uh, set up a couple of flats so that the, it can rotate at us at uh, I think he wanted it at a 22 and a half and a 45 degree angle so we're uh, now cutting the second hole in the um, in the uh, plug here so we can tap it. And always the second hole goes so much easier. Okay, uh, I think we better go in a little further because I don't have a bottom tap for this size. That ought to, that ought to do the trick. We've uh, drilled the right size hole. Now we're going to run a tap down this. First we need to get our carriage out of the way a little bit. That should be good. Good start, at least. All right, 
right, we've got a good healthy start on this hole here. And at this point, we can probably just take it out and run the taps uh, vertically, which is a lot easier. Uh, so we'll just slide this back. And we've got everything in place here. Um, hmm, no, we don't. What we need to do is surf, uh, face off that this outer surface here because that's going to hold the washer, and the washer wants to be fairly square. Just a quick run. Alright, we got to uh... Alright, we'll come in and just uh, chamfer the uh, the hole. Give ourselves a nice little seat for that uh, bolt to go in. And I think we pretty much got it at least for this part. Let's take this out, make sure we've got a nice smooth edge here. Yeah, that's going to work just fine. Now I just have to go in and uh, and go ahead and, uh, and uh, thread the inside of this. But in the meantime, let's get started with our next piece. off a little bit. It could just be a little... Yeah, there we go. That's good. It could be just a little, uh, little piece of rust on that surface. I mean, it's not perfect by any means, but we're going to cut this down. This is basically, you know, we're talking farm implement here. So, uh, 10, 20, 30, so we're going to take 60 out at a time.
I'd say that's probably good. Let's see what that looks like. Just about right. 60 more. A little bit of oil. So we got about, oh, I don't know, eight or ten passes here. Uh, I'm going to save you the pain and the suffering, and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, we've got our surface done. We've chamfered both of our edges. Now we're, uh, we're going to drill this little pilot hole in order to get the, uh, in order to thread that hole. And then... Uh, We'll come back and uh, and that piece will be ready. Uh, you know, of course, we have to put it on the mill and cut some flats and a few things like that. But for right now, this is the second piece and it's ready to go. Maybe one more little plunge here and we'll have it. That should do the trick. Yeah. We'll put the bigger drill bit in. Drill that hole. And just by the way the chips fell, if you notice, they're nice long chips once I started cutting 60 thousandths. So I'm guessing this is 8620, which is uh, pretty much you can make transmission gears out of this stuff. We'll come in and chamfer our hole a little bit just so the uh, tap has a easy start and also the bolt has an easy start when that time comes. There we go. Done deal. And yeah, we're good. Okay, so now we're going to finish tapping the hole in the other piece, and we'll take uh, and bring and bring the tap back here and uh, set the tap follower. Okay, we installed the tap follower, and uh, we'll bring that in here and line it up with the tap and get the spring to take over. And then we just start uh, cranking on the tap, knowing that it's going to go in straight. All right, we got ourselves two or three rotations there. I think that's plenty to be able to pull it back out and uh, and take this over to the vise and do it vertically, which is a lot easier. Okay. 
Yowch, it's hot.